Hi, Phil Hillborn here. I'm just going to make a quick video to talk about some new strings that I've just been sent. Um, here they are, there. Um, these are prototypes that have been sent to me by Professor Jonathan Kemp from St Andrews University in Scotland. They've been sent to me to evaluate and see what they're like. Um, they are supposedly revolutionary and do things that normal strings don't do. Um, I thought as a way of a control mechanism, I would talk about a regular set of strings which this guitar has got on um, first. So I'm going to talk about this, then I'm going to go away, change the strings for Jonathan's ones, set the guitar up and uh, see the difference. So this is a conventional PRS with a Floyd Rose on it. Um, it's been lent to me, it's not mine, by the lovely people at PRS Europe, Gavin and everyone. Um, for this for this experiment really uh, or evaluation however you want to put it um, basically for those who don't know it's just a standard tremolo it's locked uh, which means you can go from that to, to nothing pushing the bar down and it'll come back in tune and it will go up um, about I don't know how far um, about flat five or so um, and so the thing that normal strings do, which Jonathan claims his don't, is that they go out of tune in differing amounts. Um, and it depends on how the guitars, how much they go out, it depends on the gauge of strings you're using, how the guitar's set up, the manufacture of the strings, the material the strings are made out of, um, a whole lot of things like that. Um, guitarists, you know, the world, the world over have use this to the advantage over the years because if, if I play for example any string and let it down it will go down by however much I press it so if I want to do that great fine if I want to make if, if you play a pair of strings they go out at different rates and Jonathan's strings um, he claims go down um, over a X amount of area parallel to each other um, so therefore if you played an A chord we go down to G in theory. Now I don't know if it will yet because we've got to find out but at the moment what's good about the old way is um, and the way we've become used to it is if you play the same harmonic say on three different strings when you let them down you can hear they, they kind of uh, rub against each other um, the, the beat tones where, they, where they're going out in, in different amounts and they don't all sound, it doesn't sound pleasant it, um, you get that but that's handy because you, that's how you can get all these funny noises like <coughs> elephants and stuff like that and people doing wookie noises going <coughs> and uh, so on um, certain things on a guitar like you could play a D7 chord there <coughs> pull it up <coughs> and it nearly goes to G <coughs> Quiet. You nearly get a five one, but it's a bit hit and miss. Um, so basically, what I'm saying is, if you if you were to play these three harmonics, and let them let them down, the the G and D strings nearly go down, kind of parallel, but the G strings completely different. Um, it will kind of be going something like, like, so you nearly get, and then, um, which you can use to your advantage. Um, but I'd be very interested to see what these other strings do. Anyway, I thought I'd just do this quick bit to show to show that particular aspect of it, that, that they don't go down the same amount. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away, put the new strings on, set it up differently, because apparently these new strings, normally when you set guitars up, they're set with, and it normally looks like, two angles going like that. Apparently with these new strings, once you've internated one string, you just go straight across. Um, so that'll be interesting in itself. So I'm going to be a while, I'm going to go and set this guitar up with the new strings and I'm going to come back and see what they do. Okay, I'm back and I've changed the strings. 
Um, I haven't even had time to chop the ends off. That's how keen I am to show you what this does. Um, the question I think you're probably asking, or I was anyway, um, does it work? The answer is yes. Um, it certainly does. And with one reservation, which is that the B and E strings, uh, top B and E, the top E and the B, they stay pretty much the same. Um, but the E, A, D and G, um, yes, the tuning's miles better. Um, let me show you how. So, for example, if you were to play um, just a simple C, C5 chord, and then pull it up half step at a time, so it goes, just do it with the bar. No problem at all, and that'll work on all those power chords. go from like uh, even lower than the range of the neck so we're getting a low D from an F there you know uh, harmonic stay in tune If they didn't, you'd get those beat tones which I spoke about earlier on. Like, for example, if I played the same harmonic on the B and E string, you get that beat tone thing between them. Um, but so, so, on those four strings, fantastic. So, I play a bunch of dyads quickly. And it, it's everywhere, it works fine. Um, I tried to do, um, you know, I've not much time with this, so bear in mind, bear that in mind. But I tried to do some approach, uh, approaching chromatically, uh, E chord tones, sort of this sort of thing. You normally go, something like that, and with the bar. Amazing, amazing. Um, <clears throat> for that reason alone, I would certainly have a guitar with these strings on because um, the, you can't do that on a normal guitar. You just can't do it. It's, it's impossible. And I will prove this right now because remember earlier on I spoke about the A to G thing going. If you do that on this, you'll get, I've cleaned it up a little bit, you'll get. I'm not used to a Floyd Rose, I'm sorry. Um, there you go. If I do that on my normal guitar, I'll show you what happens. Um, let's just quickly swap over. Um, let's get this fellow and I'll try and do the same thing, similar sort of sound. Um, so I'm after, I'll get, you'll do that, which is really unmusical. And no one's going to really want to use that, I don't. And those dyads, for example, uh, if you're playing, um, and you want to get, you'll actually get, disastrous um, <clears throat> whereas on this one you'll get in tuneness which is what we want um, so I'll do it again you get and I think um, for lead playing great but for rhythm, rhythm playing fantastic any diet you're playing anywhere you can pull up and down and move around so <laughs> quite away with them and they stay in tune they're not doing that beat tone thing they're not doing that that sorry 
you're not getting that at all, you can hear it. Um, so for country things, for, for um, pseudo slide guitar things like... Brilliant. Um, for all your kind of... Great. Um, for uh, more complicated harmonies, in case you think this is all just heavy metal based, if you played like a major sermon chord... I'll go up to, you know, minor seven. Um, don't know, uh, six chord. Uh, so if you do. You can just pull up and get what you want, or go down to G. I can see loads of uses for this. So, I really hope that um, Jonathan Kemp has a lot of success with this because he deserves to, because I don't know why anyone didn't think of this earlier on. Um, so I would very much recommend that you Google him and his work and his, particularly his thesis on the subject. Um, if, you, if you're good at pure mathematics, you might understand it, I don't. Um, I just understand it from a player's perspective. The one thing that people might might want to ask is how does it feel to play these strings? Does it feel different? I'd say yes, it does feel a little bit different. Uh, Jonathan says that the E string won't go out of, tune as much, out of tune as much when you hit it hard. I think he's probably right. <laughs> seems to stay you know pretty much in tune uh, bending because effectively I think what's happened is the core sizes of the strings of the E A uh, D are all the same as the G strings so the tension those are under is all pretty much the same um, I believe and so bending the D strings is the same as bending the G string if that makes any sense so if you're <laughs> from C to E which is a major third and normally that's quite physical it's quite easy and do it here oops did too much I mean I think you can bend from like a fifth go there it's still staying in tune um, so I hope that's shown you a little bit of what this can do. Um, it definitely works anyway. Brilliant, I'm gonna go off and have fun with this. I need to learn how to use a Floyd Rose a bit better because I don't normally use one, but um, I think it's fantastic and I wish Jonathan every bit of luck in the world with it and I hope it comes to market because I'd certainly have um, some guitars with these strings on as well as some regular ones as well because it would give you a whole another um, set of sonic options you know and you could play the Pink Panther theme without moving your hand or could you? kind of <laughs> alright that's it for me see you later Oh yeah, and before I go, don't forget to like my YouTube channel and my band's Facebook page. Like, share, all that good stuff. Thank you.